Hey, in this tutorial we're looking at section 11.4 which is on bounded growth and Newton's law of cooling. So for our bounded growth models, they often have a, some limiting value P called the carrying capacity or equilibrium. So this is for growth models. So often it could be that um, there's only so many um, atoms that can decay so it's got a lower value or it could be that uh, it's a population that's being infected by some disease and so there's a maximum uh, value for the population as well. So uh, we call that value P and it's our carrying capacity. Okay? So P acts as an asymptote. If N0 uh, is less than P, then P is approached from below. Remember if N0 is, that's our initial population, is less than our carrying capacity, then we approach it from below. Okay, so we'll curve up like that. Okay, if N0 is greater than P, then P is approached from above. Okay, and that's what it will curve down. Okay, if uh, N is a function in a T, okay, and that's a population, then dN dt equals uh, K outside of P minus N, where K and P are greater than zero. Okay, so when we talk about Newton's law of cooling, it's just an example of uh, bounded growth. Okay, so Newton's law of cooling states that the rate of change of the temperature of a body is proportional to the difference in temperature of the body and its surrounding medium. Okay, so T is the temperature of the body after T minutes, after a time T in minutes usually. Okay, TM is the temperature of the surrounding medium, okay, and we take these values to be constant. So although we'll have energy leaving the, our body, we're saying it doesn't actually uh, heat up our surrounding medium. Then we say dt dt equals k outside of t take tm. Okay. If the object is cooling down, then we say k is less than zero. Okay. We say let theta be the difference in temperature, so theta equals um, t minus tm. Okay. So we get theta equals theta naught e to the kt, where theta is our t naught minus tm. Okay. So we can write it as theta equals um, t naught minus tm Okay, e to the kt. As I said just before, that Newton's law of cooling is an example of bounded growth. So we'll have a look at a couple of worked examples. Okay, so we'll look at worked example seven. Uh, now all the worked examples in here are just a bit wordy, so I'm not worried about writing them down to save some space. Okay, so the weight of medium-sized dogs are found to follow a bounded growth model. The initial weight of a typical newborn puppy is 0.5 kilograms, and after 16 weeks, its weight has increased to 4.5 kilograms. It is known that the dog's weight will never exceed 15 kilograms. Okay, determine the weight of the dog after one year is what we need to be talking about. Okay, so what we're saying is our um, is our value of p okay, is going to be our carrying capacity p is going to be that maximum value of 15 kilograms. Okay, we know that the initial uh, mass, okay, um, we're going to use M in here, is 0.5. Okay, is the other information. And we know when T equals 16, okay, M equals 4.5. So that's the information that we're looking at. Okay, so we're saying uh, that M is our mass and T is our time in weeks. So we can then say our uh, dm dt, well that's going to be our k times our p minus m. Okay, so we're going to say our dm dt is going to be k outside of um, our 15 minus m. Okay, so we need to invert this because we need dt on dm. Okay, so we're going to be 1 over k times 15 minus m. Okay, and we need to integrate that. So we can say, well, t, and what we do with k is a constant. So we can say, well, 1 on k outside of our integral of 1 over 15 minus m. Okay, so when we do that, we multiply this uh, k across and say that we've got kt is equal to uh, our negative log to the base e of the modulus of 15 minus m plus our c value. Okay. Uh, so we also know that when t equals 0, 
m equals 0 0.5, right? So we can set t equals 0 into here, this will cancel out, so it will be 0 equals negative log to the, sorry, 0 equals negative log to the base e of the modulus of 15 minus 0 0.5 plus c, right? Which is, of course, going to mean that c equals log to the base e right, of our 14.5 right, so we know that that's our value of C so we put that into our equation now and say that we've got uh, KT is going to be negative log to the base E of our 15 minus M right, plus our log to the base E of 14.5 well, we can use our log laws to then say that KT is equal to log to the base e of 14.5 over 15 minus m. Okay, just using our log laws. Okay, this one's our negative one, that's why we go on the bottom. Okay, we also know our information here, okay, that when t equals 16, m equals 4.5, so we can do that to find our value of k. So we can say 16k equals log to the base e of 14.5 over our 15 minus our 4.5. Okay. That means that k is equal to 1 on 16 log to the base e of, we can simplify this to be 29 over 21. Okay. And we can say that that's approximately equal to 0 0.02017. Okay. So at the moment though, we're going to leave it in terms of k, it just makes it a little bit easier just when we're re uh, rearranging it. Okay, so we've got our equation, uh, this one up here we're going to be looking at, and we need to uh, rearrange that for m. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to do our looping method, so we're going to say that we're e to the kt equals our 14.5 over 15 minus m. Okay, so that means that we're going to be 15 minus m, so that e to the k t equals our 14.5. Okay, so again, our 15 minus m okay, equals 14.5. Now we'd be dividing by e to the kt, but we'd say that's the same as times m by e to the negative kt. Okay, so that means that our m is going to equal 15 minus our 14.5 e to the negative kt. Okay, we know what our um, k value is, so we can say our m equals 15 minus 14.5 e to the negative 0.0217t. Okay, so we've got our equation uh, okay, for m. What we need to do now Okay, if we haven't actually, so far, doing all of this work, we haven't actually answered any parts of our, um, of our question whatsoever. Okay, but now we've got all the information so we can, because the first part is we want to determine the weight of the dog after uh, one year. Well, at one year, that's a case where t equals 52. So we say m equals 15 minus 14.5 e to the negative 0. 0, 2, um, 0, 1, 7, so I must do 0 in here, times our 52. Okay. And when we work that out, we find that we get an M value of 9.92. That would just be a straight sum into our calculator. Okay, so the weight of the dog after one year is 9.92 kilograms. Okay, and they want to sketch a graph of the weight versus time. These are our axes. We're going to have an asymptote up here, which corresponds to our p value of 15. Okay, and we also know that we've got a starting value of 0 0.5 as well. That was our original mass. Okay, and then we're just going to follow something like this. Okay, is what our graph would look like. Okay, our other way is that our graph is going to start up here and come down. That's another type of graph we can have. 
these types of questions. Okay, so we'll go on and we'll have a look at work example 8, which is our last work example to look at. Okay, so we have a metal bowl is heated to a temperature of 200 degrees and is then placed uh, in a room that is maintained at a constant temperature of 30 degrees. After five minutes, the temperature of the bowl has dropped to 150 degrees. Assuming Newton's law of cooling applies, determine okay, our first part is A, the equation for the difference between the temperature of the bowl and the temperature of the room. Okay, so for this, we need to uh, start off by using our equation, dt on dt equals our kt minus tm. Okay. Now, of course, to our temperature of our medium, or the air, you should remember that is putting in at 30 degrees. Okay, when T equals zero, T equals 200 degrees. Okay, and we know that when T equals five, our temperature is now down to 150 degrees. Okay, it's the other thing. So that's been our initial knowledge of no. Okay, so we know our temperature of our medium, our Tm, so we put that in. So we can say our dt on dt is going to be k outside of t minus 30. Okay. So we want to do our theta. Theta is our difference in temperature, so that's t minus 30. Okay, so that means that our d theta dt okay, is k theta. Okay, so that means that our uh, theta equals our theta naught e to the kt. Okay, and we know that initially, like right, we've got this information. Okay, so we can say theta, remember that is our difference between our um, temperatures. Okay, so when t equals zero, theta is going to equal our 200 minus 30, which is going to equal 170. And we also know when our t equals 5, that theta is going to be 150 minus 30, which is equal to 120. Okay. So that means that theta naught is, this one here is going to be our 170. Okay. And then also our theta equals 120 when t equals 5. So we can say, when set up the equation, 120 equals 170 e to the 5k, because we've subbed in our theta naught and, sorry, our uh, theta when t equals 5, and we've got our theta naught in there as well. Okay, so that means when we rearrange this, so we uh, rearrange this for k, basically. So we can say, well, our 120 over 170 was our e to the 5k, so then we get log to the base e of our 12 over 17, we can simplify that, equals our 5k, so k is going to 1 on 5, log to the base e of 12 on 17. Okay, so k is approximately equal to negative 0 0.06966. Okay, so that means then that our theta t equal to 170 e to the negative 0 0.06966 t. Okay. In part b, we need the temperature of the bowl after a further uh, 10 minutes. Okay, so we're summing in t equals, uh, t is going to actually be 15 because we want the temperature of the bowl after a further 10 minutes. We've already had it in there for five minutes. So this time we're going to have to sub in uh, t equals 15. So we're going to get theta of 15 equals 170 e to the negative 0 0.06966 times 15. And when we do that, we find that we get a value of 59.79. Okay, and so our, remember our temperature here, Okay, that's going to be equal to theta plus 30. So our temperature is going to actually be um, our 59.79 plus 30, which equals 89.79 degrees.
right, in part C, how long will it take for the temperature of the ball to reach 40 degrees? Right, well, our, uh, remember our temperature equals theta plus 30, and we're saying our temperature is 40. So it's clearly theta equals 10. Okay, so we're going to be saying, well, let 10 equal our equation, right, of 170e to the negative 0 0.06966t. Okay, so when we rearrange that, we get t to equal negative 1 over our 0 0.06966 log to the base e of 1 over 17. And we solve that, we get t equals 40.67 degrees. Okay, so the temperature of the bowl reaches, uh, sorry, not degrees, that's minutes, sorry. So the temperature of the bowl reaches 40 degrees after 40.67 minutes. Okay, so I think we've done a fair few questions that are um, along similar lines to this with setting up our differential equations uh, and whatnot. So I think you'll get through these questions without too many difficulties, hopefully.